Jaegers and Matt Oak Some now. stairs. Cabrera's down. Frost down. Reload! Concussion! Make your prayers! Jaeger down. To the side of me. Oh. Uh, what? Hey YouTube, welcome to the second entry in my Rainbow Six Siege map mastery video series. In this video series I aim to show you various tips and tricks that I've picked up on each map within Rainbow Six throughout my time playing the game across the last two years. At the time of recording this video the highest rank that I've been is Platinum 3 so the tips that I'm going to share with you are just things that I've learned along the way and while you're probably not going to learn any diamond level or maybe even high platinum level strats in this video what you should learn has certainly been enough to get me through gold. Now obviously this is a huge map I can't cover absolutely everything in it so I'm going to cover just the things that I think are, are pretty key and useful little tips that you might well have seen before but there should be some things in here that might be new to you as well. Bank has been chosen because I did a community poll and the community selected Bank by quite a long way ahead of the other two maps that I put up. This video is designed to help you with your attacking on Bank and once again as in the Defend video iMuted TV has joined me to help me with some of the setup to make it a bit more efficient for me and to demonstrate some of the moves so thanks iMuted the support's much appreciated. Let's get on with it and take that objective. Op 4 eliminated. Friendly mission success. Let's take a look at some basics and the default cams. First, if we spawn from parking, we take out the one directly outside the bank. We can then look down the garage ramp and take out the one that overlooks the entrance to the parking garage. Next is a nice little cheeky move, which will really take a while to get used to doing this and finding the right position. But if you rappel up the side of the building, get yourself a position around about here and shoot through the window. I, I struggled to hit it first time, but as you can see, enough of the wall opens up there where you can get a view down onto the first floor hallway cam and take that out without even having to enter the building. And you can actually take out every single cam on this map except one from outside the building. So as we run along towards the jewel respawn, we move over to the skylight windows. And if we stand around about here and get the right angle up onto that fourth window along, we can take out the skylight camera. If we stand about here and zoom in, we can take out the lobby camera. And then for taking out the other two cameras, we just need to be in the back alley and we can take that out there when you eventually get your aim right. And then finally, we've got the camera down in the vault. As you can see, if you come through the vault here, you can just ADS down to the elevator and take that out from there. Let's take a look at some drone spots on bank. Firstly, if we come into the lobby, jump up onto this little chair and then bounce our way up onto the TV. Just move to the right slightly, jump up onto this ledge, go all the way along, look at the lamp, and then jump up there so you hit it. And as you can see, you get a nice little drone spot here that allows you to look at CEO on the top floor. Just trying to uh, shove Muted's drone out of the way. This gives you a look into what they call banana on the top floor, which is the curved bit that goes around the CEO office there. Also allows us to look down into tellers and over to the lobby. And whilst you won't find defenders often holding this area, it is a common rotation area. So this is a handy little drone spot to use to keep an eye on those people. Quite often during the prep phase, your drone will spawn on the garage ramp. If you turn your drone around and look at the wall you'll find a little drone hole that allows you to go along this vent and allows you to overlook the vault area of the bank which is obviously the most common objective chosen on bank. Next up if we go into the stock trading room we jump up onto the little cabinet, jump up onto the shelves and then from there we can jump up onto the trading board and this gives us a view of the stock's trading room. Now whilst this isn't a common anchor spot as such you will find that quite often a cheeky Cavera will be hiding out here so it's nice to know what's going on in there. Next on the bottom of the server room stairs or blue stairs as it's called if we get our drone and just hide that in here behind the bin that allows us to get a good view of the staircase and rotations here. Also as a side note if you're on defense any of those bins that you see around the map if you break open the top of it you can drop a Valkyrie cam in there and that Valkyrie cam is pretty much hidden from view. 
Next up, we have a little drone spot in the server room. As you drone yourself in, you can just jump up onto that little fuse box, and then up onto the server rack. Again, just try and shove Muted's drone out of the way. <laughs> he woke up too soon. And as you can see, this gives us a nice view of what's going on in the objective. And if you've done the default plant there in that hole in the wall, it allows you to know when you need to come out and stop the diffuse. Next, if Muted hadn't destroyed all the TVs, this would be much easier, but you can just bounce your drone up onto the desk and then up onto the TVs here. And this replicates the Valkyrie cam spot that we showed in the Defend video, where you get a good view of the CCTV room. Let's take a look at one of my favorite bits, cheeky claymores. So firstly, if we come into the janitor closet, we put a claymore down here on this drone spot. And what that does is goes all the way through into the CEO objective, which will catch someone who rotates through that way. That's quite a tricky one to catch because it's so close to the wall. If you put it at a slight angle, you'll get a bit more of a um, field of view there, but it's something that you can try out. What's more effective is putting the claymore on the other side of the drone hole, going into the janitor closet, because quite often you'll get a roamer that will come in here to try and hold down the position. So by putting one here, if they come into this corner, it'll take them out. Now, the lasers are quite visible. It's not gonna be successful all of the time, but you might still catch out an unsuspecting Roma. Another spot we've got is down in admin office. We put it on that drone hole there. And by putting it there, you can catch someone who rotates into the archives objective. If we flip that around to go into archives, turn it the other way around, you'll probably find that this one will be more effective because what this does is send out a laser that goes behind the desk in the admin office. And that is a more common position for Romas to move into. Quite a bit harder to spot. Next up, if you want to watch your flank on the open area, put a claymore down here and those lasers are pretty much invisible. Anyone coming down here is generally going to be ADSing their way around the door to keep an eye on the room because it's such an open room and they won't spot that laser there. And as you can see, if they come around through here, it's just out of line of sight from where you're actually focusing and you'll just walk straight into the claymore. Next up, a common rotation claymore here at the top of the server room stairs and this will catch out any roamers that just happen to be coming back from the top floor down into CCTV to try and flank you as you try to take the bottom floor. It is visible and it is possible to take it out, but in the heat at the moment, it's something that people often don't see. And again, here in the teller's office, we can put one down here. And if you put it in that spot there, it's actually pretty much impossible to take it out from outside of the room. So the defender will have to work out how to deal with it if they see it. Next, we've got a great little spot here behind the sofa in the skylight, and this is an alternative to the top of server stairs. That laser is pretty much invisible to anyone that's running through from the cafeteria, and they'll run right over it. A nice one here is to put a claymore underneath the window. Quite often, if you are taking an objective in that room, a defender will bounce in through this window to try and retake. So by putting one there, that will make sure that they don't get that rotation on you. And then finally, Another great spot is up here in CEO behind this sofa. And again, because of the lighting, the laser there is pretty much completely invisible. As you come in here, the chances of anyone spotting that are very unlikely. So anyone coming to retake CEO using that path is going to get caught out. Let's take a look at vertical attacks, the stuff that most of us came here for and the stuff that's most important in this game. Now, there isn't much in the way of vertical attacks available to you on bank because of the way the floors are set up. However, in the stock trading room, if you've got buck or sledge, you've got some key spots here that you can open up. That that spot there allows you to take out anyone that puts a mirror window on that spot. Alternatively, you could do that from this side. And this also gives you a view into printer to take out any frost traps that might be under the window, for example. If you take out this little spot here, that gives you complete access to the double door rotation directly underneath you. You can drop a frag grenade in there, which will likely open up the hatch just by the doorway. Okay, it didn't open it up, but the chances are if you throw it just right, you can open that hatch and also take out anyone that happens to be sat there. And by opening that hatch, you also get a good view down onto the rotation in the hallway of the very lower floor. In addition, you can open up the hatch just there in the little admin office. And although that gives you a very tiny viewpoint from this hatch down into the CCTV room, what you can do is go into the janitor closet, open up this hatch here, and that gives you a great view down into CCTV there. It gives you just a nice longer angle, gives you slightly less field of view than if you were in the admin office itself, but still, it's a better spot to be in because roamers are less likely to go all the way up there to try and find you. And as you can see here from, from the hallway down through that hatch, you get a, a great view on the rotation there into the red hallway. Again, if we go into janitor closet, open up just here, that gives you a view down onto anyone who's hiding behind the desk. Alternatively, as I muted is demonstrating here, you can get the long angle by opening up this end, which lets you see an even better viewpoint. What it's worth noting is that when you're doing vertical attacks, 
it's probably better to not use the ACOG because it does make it harder to look down through the girders of the floor and shoot people. You're much better off using a reflex or holographic or red dot sight. If we open up the corner by the wall here, that gives you a great view down to the doorway. If you open up the floor right there by the door, that allows you to see down into the corner, which is a very common spot for anchors to try and hold that objective. Next, if we open up by the sofa here, that gives you a view down onto the wall right here, where sometimes you'll see a mirror set up for bomb. This also gives you a view of the rotations. Next, if we move into the conference room, open up just there, that gives you a view of the rotation there into tellers. Another spot is just here in the southeast corner. That allows you to take out anyone that will be watching that window. And also here, this gives you a way of taking out the bandit batteries that will be down here on the wall, should anyone have that set up. Now attacking from below, if you've got buck and you open up around about here where I've pinged, this will give you a view of a common anchor spot just above you. If we open up here, that gives you a view of the rotation into CEO. And if we open up just here, by this bookcase is a common spot for people to stand behind or in front of when they're defending CEO. Now if we open this hatch, that allows us to see down into CCTV. We come up to the top, and again that gives us a longer angle down into CCTV that's a little bit more protected from roamers. Let's take a quick run around the map and look at some common anchor spots, or at least spots where you might find a defender hovering. So first up, as we go into CEO, a common spot for people to be positioned is here in this corner, here in this corner, and also by that bookcase as you saw in vertical attacks. You might also find a mirror spot or someone hiding there at the back of the desk. Quite often you'll find someone in the elevator overlooking the hallway. Sometimes you'll find a Cavera or a Cheeky Ella in the stocks trading room just there. As we drop down to the first floor, we come into open area, you might find someone holed up there in the corner or behind the desk there in the office. Sometimes you'll find people underneath the hatch, which is a nice easy kill. And there on that wall, you might have a mirror window set up. Over there at the top of the stairs, you might find someone holding a position there. Also, a very common anchor spot is just there in the corner of the archives. And that's kind of it for the first floor. People don't generally hold the lobby that much. As we run down server stairs, you might find someone at the bottom. Um, quite often you'll find someone there in that corner wanting to hold off the dirt tunnel push. Also behind the desk you might find someone lying there. And of course there's the mirror spot in the vault hallway. Also, sometimes in the vault itself, in the corner there, you might find someone hanging around, or you'll find someone just underneath the elevator there. And as we jump into the lockers, you'll often find an anchor milling around in here. Now, let's take a look at tricky angles. Everyone knows to repel off the side of the building. If you've got ash, just open up the wall there, and that gives you a view all the way down the second floor hallway. It's not quite as hidden as what I demonstrated in Chalet, but it, it's still a nice handy one to have. Next one that I like to use sometimes as a defender is to open up a small hole in the bottom of the wall here and then we can just peek through it and shoot anyone that comes in through the double doors. And it's amazing how often you can get away with doing that. Now probably one of the finest angles on this map is to be in the lockers, open up the wall and you can see all the way down into CCTV and the security room. And you can see Muted just showing there, that's the doorway between CCTV and the bottom of the security stairwell. Next up, a nice position, which my class is a tricky angle, I don't know, but if you come up to the very north side of the bank here onto the roof, you can see right down into that position there in the CEO office. So if you've opened up that wall because you're attacking and you've planted there, that gives you a good view to stop anyone from getting the defuse. Also, you might often find an anchor there and that allows you to clear them out. Let's take a look at finishing up with some general attacking tips. So a great spot is to repel outside the very front of the bank here, and this allows you to see all the way into the top floor elevators area and into the front of the CEO office. Now quite often, a good team will have Castle barricading up those windows, but once you've got them open, as you can see, this is a great position here for taking out anyone who rotates around on that banana area on the top floor. And where you see I muted there on that ping, that's the very entrance to that office. Also from up here, you get a good view of some more of the lobby. You can see that cheeky little tricky angle that I showed just now where you can look through to the lobby double doors. So if you see a hole there, you know to shoot there. Also from here, you can see all the way down into tellers. So it's a good way of cutting off rotation there if you are attacking the archives area. So that allows you to see all the way down into the cash office, which allows you to cut off the rotation there 
A general tip of sledge, if you want to get through a wall quickly, crouch as you breach it. If you stand and breach and try to move through, you'll have to vault by crouching. You can just hit the hammer and walk straight through the wall without even stopping. Now in the back alley, if we jump up onto this little ledge here and then run across and look pretty much where I've pinged, you can vault straight over to the roof, which is a nice little time saver if you're spawning at the back alley and want to get up to the roof of the bank. Now this is a great little spot that um, Muted helped discover while we were doing some moves on here. As I showed in the Defend video, quite often a mirror will be set up there in the corner of the CEO office holding down the hallway and stocks. If you open up this small hole right here and then chuck a grenade up through there, that will take out the mirror that is holding that window. And that's one of the best counters that uh, we've managed to find to that mirror spot. There's no way you can directly stand underneath the mirror and open the mirror doing that. That's your best chance to get there. And as you can see, this is where I muted was exactly where that mirror is. And that's the hole there that I made with my skeleton key. So as you can see, anyone holding there will get taken out straight away. Now this position and move is much more situational and the chances of you pulling this off are very slim, but you never know, it's worth a try. If you watch the Defender video, you'll have seen a spawn peak where you stand at the double doors at the top of the skylight. You run out and shoot anyone spawning at the parking alley. If you've got glass or just an ACOG with a single shot, stand at the top of this staircase at exterior parking and you can get that angle all the way through to that doorway. So you saw me shooting there as I run over. Let's take a look at where I muted was standing when I hit him. He was standing right here by the door. So if you take that position, pretty much as soon as the round starts, you might get lucky and just catch out one of those cheeky spawn beakers. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've learned something. If there's anything that you think I've missed, then please let me know down in the comments. And at some point, maybe I can do a second version of this video to uh, add to this one. If you have learned something in this video and you try it out in game, then please let me know how you get on. I'd love to hear about it down in the comments below to see how it works for other people and if it's useful advice that I've given here. If you have enjoyed the video and want to see more, then please check out the Map Mastery playlist, which is now shown just up above on the screen. And subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of the future videos that I add to the Map Mastery playlist. Don't forget to get your notifications so that you don't miss out. Also, by subscribing to the channel, you'll get to be a part of my community and you'll see when I put up polls to see what map I should feature next. And you can have your say on what map I give tips and tricks on in the future. So if you are still here, I can only assume you have enjoyed the video, in which case, please check out one of the other two videos that are showing on your screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it and I'll catch you next time.